<laughs> Hello, welcome to Dungeon Drawers Podcast. I'm your host, Justin. So I kind of did a premature rant <laughs> in my la- my com- my last combat call video, which I'm doing my DVD Blu-ray uh, haul video right now, <laughs> where I ranted that I got the wrong book. I got I didn't, I didn't say I got ripped off, <laughs> but I'm like, oh, I bought the wrong thing. But like I I called the dude and he's like, oh, just if I ordered the book and he's like, if you want, you can trade in that book for the one you got for the one you're gonna get. <laughs> So, I, <laughs> I I did a un, you know premature rent. So I went to two movie stores. The one at the mall and the one I like to go that has a bunch of cool stuff and cheap uh, cheap movies and DVDs. <laughs> Which like I bought a bunch of stuff for only forty bucks, right? Where the other place. I spent over 60 and only got like two things. <laughs> uh, but you gotta love like, you know, used DVD Blu-ray places. So the, oh, and I also picked up uh, a toy. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have bought the toy. <laughs> but I, it was like, like a tiny Hot Rod or Ronimus Prime figure from the Transformers movie. Which it was like four bucks, and I'm like, a eh, tiny figure. I put it on my shelf. That w-. and like, if you ever tried to collect Transformer stuff, and you go to, and you ever see like, Rodimus or Hot Rod figures, like my experience is they're either really expensive or oh, that's just for display. <laughs> that's actually my toy. <laughs> you can't have it, <laughs> despite the fact this is a toy store and I have it on display. For- <laughs> with my other shit for sale, but you can't have it. So I, so I'm like, uh, I'm never gonna actually have a Ronimus figure. So I saw one for f- four bucks. So I thought I'd pick it up. It's part of like the Titanium series, and it's like die cast metal, which die cast metal shit can actually be kind of expensive. So I'm like, oh, like I only paid forty bucks for this. Sorry, four bucks, four. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, that's a good. That's actually a good deal, and it looks c- kind of cool. Doesn't have a stand, but it's metal, so it probably should be able to stand on its by itself. But hopefully, so I don't know. It looks kind of cool. The other ones in this series is like a uh, War Within, Optimus Prime, Unicron, and Beast Wars Megatron. So I don't know. It's a little cool figure, you know. And I'm and I'm getting into Transformer stuff. I couldn't get that Transformers comic book I wanted, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, so I picked up this DVD set. It's, it's like the theme for a lot of these, for this um, DVD and Blu ray haul is like kung fu shit, <laughs> kung fu stuff. So I saw this animated series, well, it's actually an anime comic book called The Broken Saints, the animated comic epic, and it's like. It looks like it looks like you know Chinese like comic that was animated. At least I think that's what it is. So it's about it's about the what, what is it? In the quiet corners of the globe, four strangers receive a, a series of chilling apocalyptic visions, simultaneously drawn to a dark city in the west. And like Chinese stuff, they love the West. Like you know, it's like because of um, Journey to the West, their fates and the fate of the world are somehow tied to a go- global satellite network, a massive conspiracy, and mysterious orphan girl with a terrifying secret. Will they say, "Oh, what? I thought this was like ancient China." Uh oh, because like you have a like, dude who looks like a monk. Oh shit. So it has like William B. Davis from the X-Files and Scott McNeil. So Scott McNeil wasn't in the X-Files. A shard and a broken king. What the fuck? So this might not be what I thought it was. (laughs) I might have gotten something else. (laughs) Oh fuck. I don't know. It looks like it could be cool. This came out in like 2003 apparently. And like the guy who was like 
Oh, this is used, by the way. I paid, I paid like eight bucks for this. Is like, the guy's like, "How the fuck do I open this case <laughs> so, I can, so I can put the DVDs <laughs> to his like uh, boss?" <laughs> uh, yeah. So that that was funny. I also picked up a movie that I mentioned right in a previous review called the movie's called The Curse of the Golden Flower which is a Wuxia movie I think it's directed by Zhang Zi Mao who directed Hero and a bunch of other stuff the 2004's uh, Jet Li's Hero if you haven't seen it so it has Chun Yun's fat and I remember not liking this movie back in high school. Uh, I thought there wasn't like enough action or whatever. But you know, now that I'm an adult, uh, I don't need to have action every in every like you know scene like I did like I did back then. So I don't know. I, hopefully, I like I'll like this movie. It, aesthetic wise, it looks cool. So should be good. Oh, he also, the guy who directed this also directed House of Flying Draggers, which we're going to review. We're not going to review uh, for, like, um, Marsh, Martial Art Madness Month, and we'll review this too, but, like, yeah, we're, um, we're not reviewing Hero because uh, I saw Hero, like, last year, and I'm, like, watching movies, you know, like, uh, re-watching movies that I watched, like, a year ago. I like to have a couple years, you know, in between. Because I'm just weird like that. So, like, I don't know. It's, it looks like it's, it's going to be cool. I also picked up another Chow Young Fat movie with Mark uh, Wahlberg called The Corruptor. Which is one of, um... Which is one of, um... Chow Young Fat's, like, American movies that he was in. I heard it's not good, but... You know, I'm real, uh, for four bucks, I'm willing to check it out. Uh, New Line Cinema put, put it out. It has a really cool case. It's directed by James Foley, which I think I've heard of him. I don't know if it's any, if it's any, any good. Brian Cox is in the movie, so is Byron Man. Man, do I know Byron Man? He sounds familiar. I don't know. Isn't this like? Uh, I think this this is about like you know try uh, the cops are investigating triads and uh, you know Mark uh, Chow Yun Fat is pissed off because why do you have white boy in the tri triad investigation squad? <laughs> uh, which was like that was like a line in the movie if I remember correctly. I think I, I saw this movie on TV once back in, when I was a kid. So I don't know it could be good. Uh, I picked up. Uh, Mila Jovovich movie, which, you know, um, we were supposed to do a 50 subscriber special, and I asked for, like, a bunch of suggestions on what people want me to do for our 50 subscriber special video or podcast, you know, and one of the suggestions was, uh, do by, uh, E.T. Templar, which he used to go by, uh, Kaiser Hertzen. Uh, was like, do a video, a podcast on why, on how Mil Jovovich gets roles in, and stuff. <laughs> so obviously, I can't do an entire podcast on basically how hot, talking about how hot Mil Jovovich is, which is, and like, she's not a bad actress in my opinion. She's in serious stuff. She's not just in like eye candy movies. But yeah, um,. Yeah, I don't know. This looks cool. It's like this is based off like a comic book character, if I remember correctly. Which I even have uh, anime of an anime of Ultra uh, Violet, which is based off the same character um, somewhere. It's part of a collection, which it came with two other animes like uh, Viper Creed and uh, some vampire fucking anime. So, who directed this piece of shit? Kurt Wimmer. Isn't this like a French comic book character? This movie came out 2006. I remember this movie came coming out around the same time as Aeon Flux, and I was, and I watched the Aeon Flux movie and I thought it sucked. <laughs> so hopefully this is better. Maybe we'll review this for March Martial Art Madness Month because it looks like she does kung fu. Here. Yeah. 
does this I'm looking for to see if it says anywhere like based off a comic book uh, William Fichtner is also in this, in this movie yeah I don't see any I'm pretty sure it is but I just, I'm not seeing it anywhere yeah, whatever ultra violent ultra violent you would think it would have vampires but I don't think it does I don't know. It looks like I it looks like a. I don't know. It looks like it'll be a fun. I think it will be better than the Aeon Flux movie with Charlize Theron, because that movie was such fucking garbage. Oh my god. So I'm look. I'm kind of looking forward to this. So the next movie I picked up, which I paid like nine bucks for this, is a movie I never f heard of, which is another Johnny Knoxville team up movie. But this time he's teaming up with Jackie Chan, <laughs> and the movie's called Skip Trace, which I've never heard of. This uh, movie um, came out. When did this come out? Came out 2016. Holy shit! Yeah, so I've never heard of this movie. Looks like it came out in like Hong Kong first, then USA and China. Which I heard uh, like Vice put out a video saying like how Hong Kong. H like Jackie Chan which like I don't know if that's true and I you know I don't it's the thing Hong Kong is also the place where like where like they kind of hate China <laughs> China's communist policies they're more very ca they're more capitalist so I don't know if they see Jackie Chan as like if uh, as like a communist symbol or some shit <laughs> so maybe that's why they hate him but I don't know um Oh, and the, the the French name for this movie is La Tu de Peak. So, I don't know what the fuck that means. Because <laughs> it has two in it. So, but this, the, the title is called Skip Trace. So, I'm guessing it's not direct, like, you know. Uh, direct translation. So, this looks like a very cheap DVD. So hopefully the movie's good, I have no idea. It's directed by... This movie has hardly any, like, sub, uh, special features. It has, like, audio commentary. And it has, like, a, a sub-feature called, uh... Sorry, a, a feature called, uh, When Jackie Met Johnny. So... I'm guessing Rennie Harlan was proud of this movie because he went to the trouble of um, doing on, uh, commentary when there's hardly any special features, so I don't know. The movie's rated, oh my god, the movie's rated PG, so I'm not expecting, I'm not expecting much, so yeah. I don't know, hopefully it's good. Um, so I also picked up a Jet Li movie that I've been wanting to watch for the longest time, but never got around to it. It's called Unleash, which stars Jet Li, Morgan Freeman, and Bob Hoskins. Which, it's like, and it's, I got the extreme version, which I don't know what that means. Is this, because it's like rated 14A, <laughs> so it's like. Like, I think the movie is about how, like, you know, uh, Jet Li was held prisoner, and... Oh, it has choreography by Yu Yuan Wo Ping, who worked on the Matrix and Kill Bill movies, so... I'll just read the back. Mar martial arts superstar Jet Li delivers a breakout performance in the gripping, action-packed story about a man raised from childhood by ruthless crime boss Bob Hoskins... Do they explain his Chinese accent <laughs> to become a violent killing machine? When a blind piano tuner, Morgan Freeman, takes him in, Danny, which is, you know, Lee, Jet Lee, tries to start a new life, but his brutal plat, uh, past falls and forcing him to fight back, featuring the breathtaking fight choreography by Yuan Wu Ping. So, I don't know. I uh, th This movie all, like looked interesting interesting for me um interesting to me for like the longest time I just never got around to actually picking it up 
Um, this used DVD has somebody's docs at the end of it. <laughs> Some married couple, so I don't know why that is. Is was this from like some some mom and pops, uh, mom and pops uh, rental store? I don't I don't know, but yeah, it's it has like a married couples docs at the end, at the back of the, <laughs> at the back of the of uh, the bo uh, the DVD. Which good thing I did not, because <laughs> I'm thinking of starting to with these like you know comic book haul slash DVD movie halls to start actually videotaping them instead of doing like you know the audio only then I have to find pictures for the stupid things but thank god I did not use a camera because I I would have accidentally doxed the, the people <laughs> oh thank god <laughs> uh, which I don't know how to like blur shit out so I would have to re I would have had to reshoot the video so you know so what I picked up at the mall was an anime film which I thought about picking up you know part two of uh, G Gundam which I only had part one and part two of Star Blazers 2199 but I I'm on, I, I thought I had the second part so until I thoroughly check every everything I'm not gonna buy the second vo the second volume so because you know it'd be a waste of money so instead I picked up an anime film which was 40 bucks <laughs> kind of a ripoff <laughs> called test you Jin 28 morning moon of midday of uh, midday which is it's a test you Jin 28 movie this movie looks like it came out either looks like very 90s it could be 2000s but I don't know exactly when this came out, but it, look, it looks cool. Tetsu Jin 28 is like the, if I remember correctly, I could be wrong on this, is the very first um, mecha, uh, mecha or giant robot. So I could be wrong, but I, I'm pretty sure it is. That or giant robo, but you know, it looks cool. Uh, when did this movie come out? It doesn't say. This is uh, released by Discotech, which explains why how it's, why it's so expensive, despite the fact it's only a movie, which it it has a Blu-ray and DVD. Thank God for that. So in case one scratch, which usually when I buy Blue uh, Discotech shit, they're usually come scratched. So like if one scratch, at least I have the other one to try out. So I don't know. Looks like it could be good. So I put my last. The uh, oh, this dude's sword looks weird. The last um, movie I, I bought was is called The Swordsman, which came out last year, if I remember correctly. And the reason why I picked it picked this up this up is because uh, Joe Taslim from The Raid and The Night Comes for Us is in this uh, movie, so I thought I would pick it up. So it's like a it's like a Korean movie, South Korean movie. It's called The Swordsman. It's who stars in this thing? Uh, Jang Jang Hook. After being blinded in a coup against the king, Jo Seon's greatest swordsman, Jang uh, Jang Hyuk, goes into hiding, far re removed from his city's anguish. But when traffickers kidnap his daughter, he has no choice but to unsheath his sword. Which his sword looks weird. Uh, it has like this like hook kind of not hook but like it has I don't know you you'll see it. It's not on the cover but it's in the back cover. Ah, uh, just look it up. Um, yeah. So I don't know. I don't really watch a lot of um, South Korean like. I, what would you even call uh, these like it, it, these like movies like historical act, martial arts movies? I don't know. Cause I, I, I on the cover he kind of looks like a Chinese, like either like a samurai Chinese swordsman, based off the the sword. The fashion fashion wise he looks like a samurai, but like the the sword looks like you know Chinese sword. I don't know. It looks like it could be good. It looks like Joe Taslim plays the villain. 
which I'm a huge fan of to- Joe Taslam for whatever reason. But um, it's 14A. Yeah, it came out last year. So I don't know. It could be good. We'll review it for March Martial Art Madness Month. So uh, that's the last of the um, stuff I bought for the DVD Blu-ray haul video. If you have any, uh, you know, suggestions on st- movies you want me to review, let me know in the comments and check out my other videos and. That- that's it for today, guys. Later, peace. Oh, and like, like, comment, subscribe if you like my stuff. Yeah.